Hey, I'm Dave Asprey. In this episode of Bulletproof Radio, I talk with the Life Cycle guys about oyster mushrooms, about reishi mushrooms. We talk about cordyceps, lion's mane, chaga, and even a couple other types of mushrooms. And you're gonna learn what to use, when, and how to get the most value out of your mushrooms. Because it turns out sometimes eating or making a tea isn't the best way to get what you want out of the mushroom. But all those different things are purpose specific for different performance states that you can achieve. Did you know that there's a mushroom that can take over an ant's brain and cause it to climb to the top of a tree, freeze, and then release spores everywhere? It sounds pretty dark, right? Well, did you know a related species to that one when it's grown on the right stuff, has all sorts of cognitive enhancing powers for humans. So it's all about set and setting when it comes to mushrooms. And if you live in Denver, you know what I'm talking about. I have a confession to make. I've taken a lot of mushrooms before this video. I've had 12 dropperfuls today so far of cordyceps, <laughs> the life cycle tincture. And I gotta say, when I just take a couple, it's not that stimulating, but I'm feeling it right now, and in just a super energetic way right now. Uh, very different from what caffeine makes you feel like. So this is probably my max dose of those. Before I go to bed tonight, I'm going to be taking the life cycle lion's mane extract, which makes my REM sleep much, uh, much longer, and I just get better sleep efficiency from it. Uh, but right now, I'm feeling pretty good. One of the things that really made me happy in today's podcast with the Life Cycle guys is we talked about why eating raw mushrooms is probably a bad idea. And there's research out there that's had me a little bit confused because it shows that people who eat mushrooms have negative health effects and then there's all this other research that says people who eat mushrooms have really good health effects. In fact, there's more of the good than there is the bad, but I think what explains it is what we talked about in the interview, that eating raw mushrooms is very different from eating cooked mushrooms. And newsflash, deep fried mushrooms still aren't good for you.